8-Bit Dylan. Time for the intro to my videos. Just make weird noises with your mouth. ba ba na 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 ba 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 do ba ba na 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 ba 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 da Hello everyone and welcome to my Sims 4 Seasons review video. That's right, big props to EA Game Changers for sending me out to LA for EA Play Live for me to capture some footage of the brand new expansion pack to The Sims 4. And let me tell you before I get into this video that this is hands down my favorite Sims 4 expansion yet. This one completely changes the game from top to bottom and makes it feel like a brand new experience. But enough about that, let's get into the game and let me show you some of the awesome things that you can experience inside. As you can tell, Seasons adds weather effects to The Sims. Now I know what you're thinking, is this only cosmetic? But the multiple different weather effects that this brings actually impacts the gameplay in a huge way. Not only does this bring new gameplay changes, but it also can completely retexture many of the items in the game based off the season you are in. So here's an example of all the items in the expansion pack during the summer. As you can tell, you can expect a ton of different decoration items and furniture pieces, some of which were actually taken from already existing game packs and brought over to this pack to make it easier for everyone to have all the holiday decorations they need. This includes stuff from the Spooky Stuff pack and the Vampire game pack and more, but not enough was brought over that it would make it useless to still not buy those packs outright if you wanted more stuff. One of my favorite tiny features though is if you change the season, it will retexture the items to reflect that season. So here are the same exact items you just saw, but outdoors during the winter. As you can tell, several of the items now have snow and frost on them, as well as other textured effects. This really helps immerse the items in the season you're in and doesn't make the furniture pieces feel like they were just thrown in without any care. I'm sure this will be a nightmare for CC makers to have to plan for, but in the end, it really helps the world feel alive. Now, we weren't able to have any of the items from any of the other packs, so I don't know if those also get retextured, but I can only hope that's the case. Now to the gameplay. As you can see, during the holiday, a new UI feature shows up in the top left of the screen, showing what holiday it is and traditions that need to be completed to satisfy that holiday. So for Winterfest, for example, we had to do several different things such as decorating our house, using this handy new item that gives you a ton of different lighting and item effects to the outside of your house, to decorating the tree, with an equal amount of options and girl, the animations when you're doing it are super cute. I mean, come on, just look at that tree that I made. Simply stunning. You also have to open up presents with your family, which can lead to some interesting results based off how connected to the holiday each member of the family is, as well as cook a grand meal for everyone to partake in because that's just how the holidays go sometimes. I want to mention that all the traditions for the holidays that are introduced can be manually changed at your will, so don't worry about having to be stuck celebrating The Sims version of Christmas if you don't want to, because there are other holiday items in this pack, such as menorahs and a canara, if you want to celebrate other real-world winter holidays. You aren't stuck just doing holiday actions, though. The winter and other seasons bring a wealth of different actions, such as snowball fights, to building snowmen, to making snow angels, and even ice skating, which the rinks for both this and roller skating can be altered with different lighting effects to give the rinks a personalized look to them. Now, to those of you that are bashing the game for not having insane snow depth, even though you've never played the game once and you're basing this off of just trailers and screenshots, you need to realize that this isn't just a white filter put over the grass. The snow glistens in the sun and actually feels alive even footprints look great in the snow. Now, off to the conclusion of Winterfest. After spending time with the family and fulfilling your Winterfest cheer, you'll be visited by the absolutely creepy Father Winter at night who shows up via a fireplace. Father Winter will deck your house out with presents for the family, but don't be fooled by his charm. Father Winter is a stone cold killer that will mess you up if you try to take him into a fight which is an actual option in the game. Our girl wanted to beat the presents out of him and she put up a dang good fight, but she had another thing coming. I mean, even the mood lit he gives you after he beats you up further proves how much of a gangsta Father Winter really is. 
But enough about the winter, there are other seasons such as summer, which you can expect hot weather and cool breezes. With every season comes Patches, the extremely creepy scarecrow that you can become friends with and rumor has it, can even walk around your house and help you garden if you're close enough friends with him. Lounge around in the kiddie pool that is two sizes too small for you like Autumn, because after Father Winter knocked her head in, she started acting funny, and bond with your bee friends in your garden. Or be an absolute jerk to them and incur their wrath, whatever you see fit. I can't forget the sprinklers, which will have even the most angry sims, or dumbest if you're Autumn, bouncing around like children from the spring water. And if you are really twisted, you can purchase the weather machine, which was a terrible idea to give to Autumn because she has some screws loose after that fight in winter. Oh yes, Autumn, I'm sure making it thunderstorm is a great idea. Along with the rain, you can use an umbrella out of an assortment of different umbrellas. Let's watch as the rain falls down and it's below. Oh my God. Oh Jesus, did she just get hit by lightning? Holy crap. Uh, Autumn, what is wrong with you? Okay then, wasn't really expecting that. Is she now showering in the rain? Oh, oh god, Autumn girl, figure your life out. Oh Jesus, this is a mess on a whole different level. So yes, I guess the rain brings about different activities as well, such as getting naked in the rain and embarrassing yourself in front of your neighbors. Okay, Autumn, I think that's enough. Besides debauchery, you can also use the new calendar tool, which adds a much needed timeline to The Sims 4. And you can also make your very own holidays. Just choose a day, give your holiday a unique name, and choose any traditions you want from the huge list of traditions provided. Nothing says holiday spirit like streaking, fighting, drinking, and partying. This isn't limited to holidays though, so you can also pre-plan birthdays, weddings, and even funerals. For our holiday, we got our tiki bar ready to get down with the traditions, streak to your heart's content, and live your full holiday fantasy as best you can. Kick a dirty leaf pile, you nasty, and let the world know just how big your pixels really are. Autumn, please don't touch that machine. Stop it. Oh god, we get it, you lost a father winner, but you don't need to make it a blizzard. So, you may be asking, Dylan, why aren't you showing off fall and spring? Well, trusted viewer of this video that has made it this far in, I only had a set amount of time to record, so I chose to focus on the content you currently see. And what you currently see is Autumn being a complete idiot streaking during the winter. Father Winter did a number on her. Okay! So, apparently, we are back in the wintertime, and Autumn is still waiting outside for Father Winter to show up. At least you put on a swimsuit. Probably not the smartest thing to wear outside. Oh. Oh, you're looking kind of blue there, girl. This does not bode well. Well then, that was expected. Besides making your sims do the dumbest things during the seasons, you can wear a wide variety of creative sim objects, such as hairs for your head, clothes for your body, and other items that you can see in other simmers videos that choose to spend way more time looking at these than I did. Overall, I think The Sims 4 Seasons is my favorite expansion pack yet. It focused on restructuring the game and timeline to something easier to digest and made playing The Sims actually way more fun for me again. Uh, this expansion pack makes me want to actually play The Sims the way it was meant to be played as a life simulator, which is weird because if you guys know me, I'm not the type of person who plays The Sims that way. I think this pack is a definite buy and something you will be totally satisfied with.